Hello everyone. Welcome to edupediaworld.com and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Sarvas Reshta Patel. Today we will learn the topic of magnetic field. So in this video you will understand the meaning of magnetic field. Then you will learn how to draw magnetic field lines and then we will explore the characteristics of magnetic field lines. So in order to understand the meaning of magnetic field, we will perform a small experiment. And in this experiment, we first take a magnet and then place a nail near the magnet. What happens to this nail? The nail gets attracted by the magnet. Next, we take this nail and place it a bit farther away from the magnet. Now what happens to the nail? Again, the nail gets attracted to the magnet. Next, we take the nail and place it quite far away from the magnet. Now, no matter what, the nail is not attracted by the magnet. So then, we can say that the force of attraction by the magnet is strong near the magnet and as you go far away from the magnet, the force of attraction becomes weaker till there is an area in which the magnet has literally no effect on the nail. So if we were to perform this experiment on different sides of the magnet, we would find that near the magnet, the magnet exerts a strong force of attraction. A bit farther away, this force becomes weaker and then there is an area in which the magnet has no effect. So intuitively we would say that there is an area around the magnet in which the magnet exerts its force. Now this area is known as the magnetic field. So what is a magnetic field? A magnetic field is an area around a magnet where a magnetic material such as iron, cobalt or nickel or another magnet experiences a force either of attraction or of repulsion. Now this magnetic field is stronger near the magnet and it weakens radially outward from the magnet. That means the force of attraction will be stronger near the magnet and then outward the force of attraction will be weaker and weaker and weaker. And this is the reason why the magnetic field has no finite boundary. Now this is our intuition. What would an actual magnetic field look like? Let's find out. We will perform a small experiment in which we will take a glass box and in this box there is some liquid and there are some iron filings floating in the liquid. And there is a slot in which we are going to insert this magnet. So let's find out what happens when we insert this magnet into the slot. You can see that all the iron filings gather near the poles. They are attracted by the magnet and particularly near the poles. Also, if you look closely, you will find that these iron filings have arranged themselves into some specific pattern. So in short, our observations about the magnetic field were that the magnetic field is a three-dimensional space. Also, this magnetic field is strongest near the poles. And one more thing about the magnetic field is that it consists of a pattern of lines. So now, let us look at how you will draw these magnetic field lines. This is a marble top and on this marble top, we are going to place a paper and then sprinkle some iron filings on the paper. Next, we are going to keep a magnet upon the paper in which the iron filings have been sprinkled. What happens? After some time we find that all the iron filings arrange themselves into some specific pattern. This pattern is in the form of lines going from one pole to another. Now these lines are what we know as magnetic field lines. So lines along which the iron filings arrange themselves to form a pattern are called magnetic field lines. So now let us learn 
how to draw magnetic field lines around a bar magnet. For that, we first take a bar magnet and then place a compass near the north pole of the bar magnet. Now you will find that this compass needle doesn't point towards the magnetic north. In fact, the direction in which the compass needle points is affected by the presence of this bar magnet. Then we place a number of other compasses around the bar magnet. It is interesting to find that all these compass needles do not point towards the magnetic north but point in different directions. However, we will also find that all these compass needles are pointing away from the north pole of the magnet and then into the south pole of the magnet. The next step would be to mark the end points of the compass needles. So these red dots are the end points of the compass needle. We do so for the second compass and then all other compasses that we have placed. We then remove all these compasses. Now we will find that all these dots are into some pattern. So we will connect all these dots using a free hand curve. And what we also found was that these compass needles were pointing away from the north pole of this bar magnet and towards the south pole of the bar magnet. We indicate that on this freehand curve using an arrow. So this is our first magnetic field line. Now we can draw a number of magnetic field lines around the bar magnet. By doing so, we would get a result which looks something like this. So as you can see, there are a number of magnetic field lines around this bar magnet. So let us explore the characteristics of these magnetic field lines. So in order to do so, what we'll do is, we'll first observe these magnetic field lines, but we'll take a very close observation. So in this close observation, the first thing that we find about these magnetic field lines is that these magnetic field lines are closed, continuous loops. The second thing that we find about these magnetic field lines is that all these magnetic field lines emerge from the north pole of the bar magnet and converge into the south pole of the bar magnet. Also, we will find that none of these magnetic field lines intersect each other. What would happen if two magnetic field lines intersected each other? Let's take one example in which these two magnetic field lines are hypothetically intersecting each other. Now we place a compass at the intersection point. Now this compass needle can either point in this direction or it can point in this direction. It cannot point simultaneously in both directions. That is why magnetic field lines can never intersect. So to summarize, the characteristics of magnetic field lines are first they are closed continuous loops second they continue inside the magnet as well third they emerge out of the north pole of the magnet and they converge into the south pole of the magnet finally these magnetic field lines never ever intersect each other so this is the content for this video. In the next video, you will learn how to interpret a magnetic field. You will also learn how two magnetic fields interact with each other.